Uh, my name is William Hazel. I'm a psychiatrist. Uh, I've been doing psychiatry for 35 years. And at this point, I specialize in telepsychiatry. Uh, all my clinics, all my patient care is done remotely. And uh, I'm excited about the, the new things that are happening in telehealth. Well, I just want to say how excited I am about this uh, project because I've been involved in telepsychiatry now for uh, almost two decades. And uh, th this takes it to the new level. I'm from a rural frontier environment, and access to this type of technology is going to be a, a real godsend for a lot of folk who need the specialty and subspecialty care and have to travel great distances. And now they can get it, they can give reports instead of having to come into the office every week to give a report so that medications can be adjusted. Uh, they can send reports and we can do a lot of work with medications and behaviors uh, and side effects and problems in between uh, visits or uh, maybe not even having to have a visit uh, very often because we can do it all uh, over the video. But to be able to have uh, pictures of multiple kinds of situations and, and a whole slew of people, school environments, other healthcare practitioners, the parents, uh, siblings, all done uh, individually. It's interesting the information you hear or the description you hear from uh, family members when they're giving the report uh, apart from one another. Uh, because then the picture uh, and, and the language it's used uh, is, uh, is sometimes kind of confusing, but it gives you an a, a insight into how each person views what's going on and how they're trying to explain it and understand it and also cope with it. Uh, so it really condenses a lot of material in a short period of uh, time and my time uh, particularly, because I can scan through videos, I can um, re go back and repeat things I want to hear, things I don't really need to hear. Uh, so it's actually, what I've learned is, it's, it's contrary to what uh, the normal response would be, which is, well, you can't do it that way. You can't store and forward a psychiatric interview and have it be of any value. I'm not so sure. I think maybe there are things to be learned from or retrieved from those kinds of interviews that uh, we've actually missed. Uh, and I'm looking forward to doing more of these uh, kinds of interviews. Well, certainly the, the impact on my practice could be, be huge because there's a whole other population of patients that I have not had access to or not being, been able to uh, treat that we, uh, using this technology and gathering more information uh, on a, a person, uh, I, I could do a better job and I could do, uh, I could kind of broaden my scope of practice to patients that I've, I've not been uh, able or willing to see before because it was, it was just too complex.